It wasn't until Charlie actually saw the picture of Harry that it all came flooding back. He knew Harry well. They shared a foxhole, and he was there when the mortars hit, and Harry and another young buddy, Herman Grater, were killed that day. In the 34th replacement draft, right. um, is, this, is this someone that you recognize? Oh, yeah. That was my buddy, Gray. I think his name is Gray. He was my uncle. He was your uncle? He was my uncle. Now, I'll tell you a story about that. He was my buddy, a uh, foxhole buddy. He'd always call me Pop because I was 24 at that time and he was 18. He'd always say, Pop, sleep, I'll watch. To find Charlie after all these years was not something I had ever anticipated when I began writing Unknown Valor, but his story lined up perfectly with everything we knew about that day and he was able to tell us things about Harry we would never have known. We had a lot of fun in that, and i tell you, we were off somehow that day or that, and we discovered a Japanese cave and that, and they had a bunch of rifles along the walls. So Grace said, we're gonna get souvenirs, and he jumped down there and he got rifles. Harry did, Harry Gray. Yeah, Gray. And we all had a rifle, souvenir Japanese rifles. But then when I got wounded, this like gray, or I lost everything, and they lost their stuff too. Harry Gray wrote this letter to his mother on March 12th. Dear Mom, I suppose you are worried to death over me. Well, I'm in the best of health and feeling fine, with the exception of a few scares. I saw George C. yesterday, and he's fine as far as I know. Mom. Will you please buy Dot a nice corsage for Easter and have the tag say, To my sweetheart, with all my love, Harry. Hope everyone and everything is fine. Love your son, Harry.